All right. Now, my father, Burnham Sterling Linderman, was very much interested in every scientific example of progress. My earliest memory of something scientific was Mama had something called an icy ball. It kept uh, food cold for 24 hours. And I remember exactly what it looked like, and it's been looked up on the internet, and it is accurate. It looked a bit like a small white refrigerator. And the thing on top of it that was the cooling unit or connected to the cooling unit looked a bit like a bowling ball with handles on the side and flat on the bottom and it screwed on to the top of this unit called an icy ball and i can close my eyes right now and remember my mother taking a straight chair pulling it up beside this and unscrewing that thing and she would put it on the eye of the oil stove now it had to be an icy ball and it was an oil stove because we did not yet have electricity in Blanville, Kentucky. And so she had a timer and she would heat that unit, that ball looking thing, for a certain number of minutes. And then this time she had to have pot holders and she would take it off of the eye of the stove, carefully climb back up on this chair and screw it back on the top of the icy ball and that would keep food cold for 24 hours. We still have the old ice box on the back porch of the little house in Blanville and big things like a watermelon or something like that were cooled in the ice box. But daily food like milk and things like that and meat were kept in the icy ball. Now the icy ball came before we had electricity because Blanville, Kentucky did not have electricity until October 1941. But Daddy was ready. Now, when I was 10 months old, Mother tells the story of Daddy not working that day and I had diarrhea. And they were out in the backyard with a big black pot and an open fire and they were scrubbing those horrible diapers on a board. And Daddy looked at Mother and said, Flossie, honey, I'm gonna buy you a washing machine. And Mother told me this story and she said, I thought the man had lost his mind because I knew that as poor as we were, that there was never going to be money to buy a washing machine. However, Daddy being who he was and reading every magazine he got his hands on, he found a little advertisement. He said it was no more bigger than this, but it said, if you rip apply and are accepted as a salesman, after you sell a certain number of units of refrigerators and a certain number of units of washing machines, we will give you your demonstrator. So dad promptly applied for this. Nobody had electricity but dad was such a good talker and such a good salesman that he managed to sell the required number of washing machines and the required number of refrigerators for a company called Crosley. And when he had sold enough of both units, he sat down and wrote a letter and resigned his position. But he had that washing machine and that refrigerator sitting on the back porch of the little house in Blanville, and he had them covered up with tarpaulins. And when we got electricity on Dece or October 1941, he had them ready to move into the house and plug in, and he had wired the house. Now the wiring was rather primitive, I remember it. The light in the living room was a cord that hung down from a 14-foot ceiling and it had a bare bulb on it and it had a string that you pulled it. And I remember mother telling about this. Now, I remember the light being turned on, but I don't remember Mr. Ed Ransom coming over to see it. He was too poor to wire his house and have electricity and thought it was rather frivolous, but he came over to see mom and dad so he could see this new marvel. 
and when he looked up, the ceilings were so high that even with a chair and a broom, Mother couldn't reach them. And he said to her, Flossie, that spider web in that corner is waving at this spider web in this corner. And it made her so angry she wouldn't talk to him for a long, long time. But anyway, she said, after this, I realized that if my husband said he was going to do something, no matter how outlandish I thought it might be, I better accept that he was, sooner or later, going to do that thing because he told me he was going to get me a washing machine. And later on, he told me he was going to get me a refrigerator. And by the time we got electricity, he had both of them for me. And he used to brag that even though most of my children's babyhood, that even though I had to wash those diapers in a black pot in the backyard over an open fire with a washboard, that he never one time picked up a baby that was any way sour or stinky. And he said most of the babies he'd ever seen in his life were both sour and stinky most of the time, but his were never that way.